perfect time to make this video. Um, sorry. Uh, the kids are sleeping in the car, so I'm gonna speak freely, and my hubby is like half asleep right here. So I'm doing a story time. Yesterday I had a run-in with a racist. In Publix out of all places on the Sabbath like who does that anyways um, yeah it was just crazy to me um, the whole scenario how it even happened was just beyond me I was baffled at the situation um, so I went to the store earlier that day so I really didn't need to go but my, as a favor my mom had asked me if I could go grab her some stuff that way she didn't have to go and we were on our way to go to her house anyways and we had to go to the pet store so I was like okay I'll just go to the grocery store for you by your house and be done with it so me thinking that it was just gonna be peaceful and whatever uh, this is why I hate going to the store for people but whatever so I go in to the store and I'm going down the aisles I'm almost done mind you I'm like looking for one can of, of whatever it is that she needed and I was like looking 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 and um, I couldn't find it so I was trying to figure out I had to call her in order to figure out because she had already sent me the list she texted it to me but the specific object she was looking for I wasn't sure the name because she was calling it something and it wasn't even the name turned out something else she was pronouncing it wrong so I was like confused I was like what are you talking about like what can of this is it say and she's like oh it's this one and I'm like okay so I went from the aisle that I was in and I walked around and I went to a different aisle and as I was coming around to go to that aisle um, I did notice that the bottom had said um, like it was the wrong direction that I was walking I guess or whatever so I went down and I'm on the phone with her and I'm walking past this lady and I can see her from the corner of my eye and she kind of looks at the lady behind her so I'm, I thought that she was talking to her and was like first of all this was the first thing that comes out of her mouth so this is what threw me a curveball she was like something about oh my gosh you're going the wrong way and I'm thinking to myself that she was just letting me know so I was like oh my bad and kind of made a face because the way she said it was like rude as shit but I was like okay I'm not like okay like I'm here now so what is it like I'm already here she's like maybe if you weren't on the phone you wouldn't be so fucking stupid bitch and I was like oh my god so sorry excuse the foul language but I'm just gonna drop it how it is because I'm gonna let y'all know what went down so I was like all that for going the wrong way and I was like well maybe if you weren't such a bitch people would actually want to listen to what you're saying and then she was like I am a bitch and what like like yeah I'm a bitch that's what she said yeah she was like yeah I'm a bitch and I was like okay nothing to be proud of but congratulations I could be a bitch too and she starts walking away so why I start walking away because I'm like good I got shit to look for the public employee mind you was like in between us and she had to clean something up because something had spilled something in the aisle I was looking at so she's like oh hold on I gotta clean this and I was like oh yeah that's fine girl take your time and the other lady who was next to us started realizing that she was getting boiled up so she was like she's like freaking out and the minute that the lady walked away she's like yeah you dumbass bitch that's what she said she decided to say to me so I was like I was like, I was like, um, on the phone with my mom, I was like, who are you talking to? So I was like, oh, I'm talking to this dumb cunt who thinks that she can speak to me however the fuck she please. So my mom was like, oh, just ignore them, blah, blah, blah. And the lady heard me say that, so she was like, you stupid, big bitch. And I was like, oh, oh, this is where we can go with that. Oh, this is okay. So now I know why you didn't like me from the jump. It wasn't because I went down the wrong aisle, poo, because other people were doing it too. Mind you, the employee also took me down the wrong aisle, but that's aside the point um I realized at that moment that it was because I obviously have a different complexion than her and I obviously look a little you know more Hispanic than other people so I was like oh my gosh okay so this is where we're going with that so I was like and bitch and then she was like she's like you fucking spick and I was like yeah I'm a fucking spick and what and what ho I'm a spick and what I started screaming 
for the whole aisle. Mind you, the employee had already come back. That lady done ran. She was not about to be in the middle of that. She took off. And mind you, the other lady who was bitching about me being on the phone, the lady who was, you know, this racist, she was complaining about me being on the phone because she said that's the reason I wasn't paying attention and I'm so fucking stupid, whatever. Um, that whole situation, she was on her phone too. That was the wildest thing. Mind you, a lot of people have their grocery list on their phone. A lot of people have just a bunch of different things on their phone. There's a whole reason why anybody could be on their phone. So for her to get worked up, but then have her headphones in with her phone out, you look dumb, bitch. And I let her know that. I was like, oh, but you got your headphones out and you're fucking sitting here with on your phone. So who's the fucking stupid one, you dumb bitch? You use that as an excuse. I just was going off. I was calling her all kinds of names. Sorry for the profanity, but I just want people to know how the conversation went down. I was just going off. I, I'm sorry. A racist is one thing that I cannot tolerate. And that's the one button you can push on me that you're going to regret. So I was like telling her, I was going off. I was like, what are you going to do about it? I was speak and what? And what? I was screaming in the store. My mom was still on the phone. She was begging me, please don't. I don't got bail money. Please don't. And I said, and what? And what? And the employee behind me was laughing. And she was like, oh. And the employee over in the fish aisle, he was like, this is going down. And um, people from other aisles were peeking in because I was going in on her. And I should have screamed and called her a racist. I should have just really put her ass out there. But I really just wanted her to run up on me. That was the truth. So I was telling her, like, this could go two of one ways. You're going to get your ass beat or you're going to get your ass beat. So let's go for it. And she was like, she's just like, okay, right. And I was like, yeah, you're right. I will. I would drag and molly whop your ass all up and down this aisle that you was bitching about me going up and down. And she was like, oh, oh my God. And she's like, I dare you. I said, bitch, don't dare me because I'm about to really do it. And at that point, I already walked away from my grocery cart with my wallet. I didn't care. I left everything back there. I was like, so what's it going to be? You want to get your ass beat right now? Because I could beat your ass. Because I'm a spick. But guess what? The spick's going to beat your ass. Because that's what's about to happen. And she was just like, she was so red. She put her earphones in, like, she was calling somebody. She was on her phone, like, she was probably panicking, realizing that she's about to get her ass beat and realize, like, oh my gosh, like, my whole life is about to end over something so stupid. So, I guess, like, the moral of the story is, um, watch who you're talking to because you never know. And if you have a racist agenda, you will get your ass beat. And that's just what it is. Um, it was just crazy to me. I, I never in a million years thought that I was going to go to a store, but that's beside the point because it's happened to me before. Um, I might look, and she was twice my size. I might look small, y'all, but I'm not afraid of you. I'm not afraid of nobody. I'm not ever going to let nobody, especially no races, put no fear in my heart. And one thing I regret from that situation is I wish I would have caught it on camera. I should have hung up with my mom and videotaped her so I could publicize this woman. Um, because the area that we're in is small and I'm sure somebody would have recognized her ugly ass So I want I really hope that maybe they release the security cameras in there and Really publicize her and let her and let them know. I don't think they would ever do something like that But I really hope they did um, and I hope somebody recognized her in the store or something how dumb she looked So that they can understand people like that don't need to be out here and people like that don't need to be thriving in the US um, We are a multicultural country we are a country made up of different cultures and ethnicities um we thrive off of immigrants and tourism and all these things this country is literally built off of the backs of slaves so for you guys to sit here and think that you can demean somebody because of something they have no control over which is the color of their skin who they were born under like there's things that we don't have but one thing you do have control over is your ignorance and your disgusting disgusting idea of what people are that's a choice you choose to be ignorant you choose to be a racist it's not an opinion it's not like oh um i like tomatoes and you don't that's that's not what it is racism is a pure ignorant ass choice and if you choose to be that person then you're disgusting and let me tell you something i will not be afraid to stand up for myself and if i see you doing it to somebody else I'm not afraid to step in and say what the fuck is up because that's just what it is. I will never allow anybody to speak to my kids that way. I will never allow anybody to. And she's lucky that I still had a grocery list to get to my mom because I wasn't trying to get arrested then and there. But if my husband would have been in the store with our kids, I would have gave him the list and I would have told him, go ahead and go because you would have got handled. That's just what it is. But I had stuff in my car and I wasn't trying to. And, and let me tell you something. I was looking cute. 
I was not looking ugly. Um, so if you can, and she was out there looking a hot mess. She had some dirty ass sweatpants on, some raggedy, holy, ugly shirt, and her hair was greasy as shit. You obviously walked in there after having a hot ass mess of a Friday. So please don't come for me if you're looking like that. Second of all, I was not looking bad. I was looking all right. So I would have been happy, more than happy, to be all giddy and happy in my mugshot. And I would have smiled for that. So that would have been a charge I would not have been afraid to catch. If you catch me in there looking a hot mess, I don't want to be seen and I'm probably not going to make a scene. But, but if you catch me in there looking like this, I don't mind going to jail. Just know that. I don't mind. So, to the racists out there, to be honest with you, I hope your kids have mixed children. I hope they have Mexican children. I hope your lineage is passed down through the through the very spics that you resent and I hope that that's something you'll have to live with for the rest of your life. And just know that people like me are probably making triple your salary. That's why you're bitter. Um, because we work hard and we do what we gotta do. Okay? And we don't need to knock somebody down by the color of their skin to make ourselves feel better. So live good and live better because that was the story behind it and I just want everybody to know what's up and don't be afraid to stand up for yourself ever and beat that ass you guys have a great day thank you for subscribing to my channel